Okay, guys, back on the Magnums. They got their first cut. I'm hoping I don't need to do a dozen cuts on this to get it where they need to be. Remember, it's only 400 horsepower project. And better, I'm better off achieving that 400 horsepower with a smaller port than uh, hogging it out for real high airflow. Okay, you can see a little bit, a couple inclusions at the very top of that bowl. But if we take a look at our liquid, we're doing way better as far as spreading that liquid out all around. Got a good hit on the guide. Doesn't really show much on the left side of the guide. We got some snot by the plug. I forgot to change the plug, sorry. And we have some on the back wall of the chamber. Let's take a look at the bore. Okay, noticeable difference on the bore. Right, noticeable difference. Okay, the intake valve did get a back cut, so it's ported with a back cut. So that should change our mid lift flows quite a bit. And uh, notice how much different the blue is on the valve. Right, it really has a nice, uh, a nice spread on the on the valve. I did give them a, a quick lap just to make sure our our sizes are good. It's hard to see. Okay, not bad. Uh, what I actually did with the valve job was I shrank the width of the 45 on both of them. I think I'm going to change how I did it on the exhaust because I'm not happy with the exhaust at all. But I, sh I shrank the 45 by going with a deeper throat cut and then blended it in. And the very top, the very top cut is new because I had to get rid of that razor sharp edge that would cause detonation. So I did that on both the intake and the exhaust. And I shrank the exhaust a little bit. I'm probably going to shrink it a little bit more, but I think I'm going to do it with a stone. I did it with the burr. And uh, even though the exhaust is fully done, it didn't really pick up like I thought it would. Remember what I said in the first video about a good design? Harder to get uh, improvements? That's showing its head. Okay, you can see our first cut. Really doesn't look bad for a first cut. Okay. Notice how narrow that roof is. Wow. Narrow roof, really wide floor. Very difficult to get the burr in. As a matter of fact, that you can see that corner on the roof, the bird didn't even touch it. I'm gonna, that's going to need more work. Okay, you can uh, see the roof this way. It's really, really narrow until it hits the guide and then it fans out. It's an interesting design. You can see we got we got some inclusions in here, but you know, an inclusion is not that big a deal. You don't always want to take them all the way out, especially if that screws up with your uh, area. And uh, notice I was not able to get all the way down there with the gut, with the burr. Uh, I probably just missed it, to be honest. You still see a little bit of a paste ooze line, but I don't want to go too thin on that casting uh, near the uh, valve seat. The short side radius has got an interesting design. It actually has a bump at the very top of the short side radius. And uh, that's going to stay. Now, notice I didn't polish anything on these first cuts. Everything is rough with a burr. And it may stay that way depending upon how the development goes. Okay, remember it's a, it's a truck application. I need... Uh, I need atomized fuel more than I need a smooth radius that flows a little bit more. All right? So you have to think about that as well. Okay, I expected these exhausts to just take off when I did a little work to them, and they didn't. Okay, you can see my radius, you can see that top cut. 
the notch right around the guide where they spot face it to do the uh, to drill the guide. You probably don't want to take that all the way out because that'll ruin the uh, shape of the roof. Other than that, you know, very very straightforward. It looks it looks great, but it did not improve much over what it was stock. Let's uh, let's flip this over and see the short side. Okay, this looks like it should move air like crazy, but it doesn't. Now remember, I left it burr finish. What I think I'm going to wind up doing with this is I am going to polish that entire throat and that radius and see how much of a difference it makes. I've noticed on small exhaust ports, texture really makes a much bigger difference than on bigger exhaust ports. So I may have, due to leaving it a burr finish, given it a little more boundary layer and shrank that port a little bit too much, which could be the issue that it's having now. Okay, so this is what it was completely stock, no back cut. This is first cut with a back cut. How did we do? Plus, 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 plus. Not bad. The intake worked out pretty well, actually. And uh, in some spots, we got uh, we got a nice pickup. I mean, take a look at 200. 128.1, 142.2. That's a big pickup. 300, 148, 195, not bad. 500, 229, 256, maxed out at 261 at 0.55 lift. So within our range that we're going to be using he's going to use around a 500 lift cam this is not bad i would have liked to gotten 300 a little bit higher but overall really not bad the intake now let's take a look at what happened with our swirl right we had plenty of swirl to begin with what happened you got a plus and a plus down low the rest of them minus equals plus plus well we're not going that high so this is actually a better swirl curve than we started out with, and I think we can see that with the uh, with the liquid flow. Now let's take a quick look at our exhaust. Right, this is what they were, which were quite good. Plus plus at the very low end, which I really don't want. We still had noise, but instead of having it in two places, we only have it in one place. That's a minus, 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 right in the meat of the curve, but it tops out better. It tops up by quite a bit better. I mean. 177, 183 and change, 178, 190. And here we were, I think, 200 with a pipe. Come on. 208 with a pipe. Now we're 206 with a pipe. I need to, I need to do some work and boost this up. No doubt. Now let's take a look at uh, our airspeed numbers, what they were and what they are. These are our stock airspeed numbers. Our pinch, remember our pinch got brought out a little bit. Not a huge amount because there's not a lot of metal there. I didn't want to start taking metal from the uh, divider wall yet. Plus, 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 okay? As far as our roof, plus, plus. Here they were almost, they were 40, 47 apart here, okay? They're much closer now. I like that. That's a win. Now, as far as our short side, plus, 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 quite fast on our short side. Interesting to think about. Now, when it, if, if I polish that short side, what will happen to those speeds? You guys can answer that in the questions. Let's take a look at our exhaust speed, uh, air speeds. That's what they were. This is what they are. Plus, minus, plus, 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 plus. Plus, plus, plus. This was taken at 500, so it's moving more air than it was first test. That's why it looks better. And obviously, it's the way I shaped it, it works fine at the higher lifts. It's the mid range that is not great. So, I will be working on that. <sighs> Let me think what else I have to tell you guys. Okay, I almost forgot to show you the short side radius on the intake. A little tough to see. 
and very hard to port actually, very hard. It's okay. I mean, when it's finalized, I'll wind up using a smaller burr and I'll get the, the spots that I missed. But first cut, I don't have to worry about stuff like that. It is interesting. We doesn't look like we have any blue on that short side at all. Remove that light. Okay, you get a little bit different perspective on the bowl. Remember, you can't just hog out this bowl, right? So keep that in mind if you're going to modify a set of these. Okay, guys, so in reality, do we already have enough airflow to uh, accomplish our 400 horsepower? You guys can answer that in the questions. But we're not including the restriction of the intake manifold. I've got uh, I've got two of those tests to show you. I've got uh, the completely stock RPM on the stock EQ head, and I put it on this cut. Interesting stuff, guys. That's coming up. Interesting stuff. I think you'll like that a lot. And uh, you know, I've said it before. A lot of guys take uh, an RPM and put it on a head that flows like 290. That's a waste. That, that RPM cannot flow 290. Nowhere near it. Okay, you need a single plane at that point. I always wanted to design a, a dual plane that could flow like 300. Maybe I'll do that someday. That would be kind of cool. It's going to be tough to do, though. No, no exaggeration. That would be tough to do. It'll be a fun project, though. All right, guys. I think that's enough for today. I'm toast, and I still have to mow the lawn. So, thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.